when you're facing a challenging choice, err on the side of risk and excitement. Imagine yourself in that new role, in that new position, on one side and on the other, or maybe on three, four, five different opportunities that you might have in front of you today or at a future date. And where do you see yourself being challenged the most? Where do you see your contributions making the greatest impact? Which of these roles or positions do you feel excited about on Sunday night because you can't wait until Monday morning to go in? Driving in, coming back home at night. It's not always about money. It's rarely about money. Or titles. They all matter and all help. But that's not what it's about. Even if your position slightly less money than the other one and a lower title than the other one, but if this is the team that you want to be part of, this is the organization, this is the part of the country or the world that you want to live in, it's well worth it. Don't shortchange yourself and do not make decisions on short-term economics. Look at the long-term play of your life and where you want to be over the next five, seven, ten years. And then act based on that information. Don't be seduced only by numbers, bonuses, and titles, and corner offices, because those things will get old when you're working in an environment that's toxic, challenging, unhealthy, that drains you 15 hours a day. Eventually, that is not sustainable for overwhelming majority of us. So make decisions on a much larger picture because work is part of it. It's not all of it. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. If this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, leave your thoughts below this video on the topic I just covered. What else should one consider when they're facing multiple opportunities at the same time? Have a great day.